Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a unboxing video. I did buy this Beyblade used, but it was never actually used to say. So pre-owned, certified pre-owned Beyblade right here. Here we go. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Certified pre-owned. Never been used, but open to confirm. So with that being said, I bought it for about 20 bucks on eBay. This is a really rare Beyblade, you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I do apologize. First of all, I haven't posted a video in a couple days. Life got busy and things have just, it's been one thing after another getting stuff done. You know how it is when you're an adult, you gotta get stuff done to pay bills and keep up a hobby. So here we are, I'm back at it again today, you guys. Let's get into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so like I said, I picked this up on eBay for about 20 bucks. Um, this is a decently rare Beyblade just because it's, the first, <clears throat> how do I word this? This is the first random booster, if I remember right, either the first or the second random booster for metal ge uh, generation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and, and I did open it to confirm that the package is the package. Here we go. Here it is right here. We have the random booster, is this 30, volume two. Yeah, so it's the second random booster ever ever made for uh, the Metal Saga. All right, guys, so with this, you get um, Clay Wolf, Clay Sagittario, Heat Pegasus, Heat Leon, um, Mad Sagittario, Mad Leon, and Wind Wolf. So, and as you can see, we got the beautiful Takara Tomy logo right here. So with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and see which bay comes out of here. Let me move this box. And with that being said, we have our very own Heat Pegasus. Now, as you guys know, I've been collecting Pegasus for a while. And here are the Pegasus bays I've picked up as of now. We have the pre-hybrid Pegasus for the defense. Then we have, uh, I think this is Storm Pegasus, Cosmic Pegasus. And then we've got um, Big Bang Pegasus, Variants, Wing W uh, World Tournament Pegasus, and Samurai Pegasus. So this is another Pegasus for the collection. Very, very close to being done. I'd say about halfway, maybe, maybe a little over halfway. So with this, let's get into it. I'm going to set these bad boys off to the side. Actually, what we'll do, so then that way you guys have some eye candy. I set these bad boys right there. There you go. Now you can see the Pegasus collection. All right. Ooh, I dropped the stickers. All right, so we got the stickers in the bag. Like I said, it's been open to confirm, but never actually been used. We have our face bolts, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely super stoked. I might not even use the Pegasus stickers, to tell you the truth, other than the ones that go on the lair. We have the Fusion, the Wheel, the Spin Track, which is Downforce, and then the Ball. Like, this is super cool, you guys. I didn't think I was going to pick this up for about 20 bucks. We have a Tattooed Pegasus right here, which this might be the one we use. And then we have a Clear Pegasus as well. So very cool, very cool indeed. I'm I'm really excited about this. All right, let's go ahead and get these face bolts taken out real quick. I always like the tattooed designs more than I do putting the stickers on anyways. I feel like the stickers just get a little too tacky. Like this one's super cool with the dark blue, like just super cool, you guys. There's that one. Then we have the same one that came on our Cosmic Pegasus. I believe this is called Cosmic. I could be wrong. So yeah, here we go. It's pretty much the same one, you guys. Just the Pegasus is a little bit darker on this version. Um, Another tattooed one is, I think our next one in the set is this one right here, the blue and gray um, Galaxy Pegasus. Yeah, definitely pretty cool. And then following that would be our gold variant Ga um, Big Bang Pegasus. All right, so with that being said, let's get these parts together. Um, after all, I don't think I'm actually going to use the 
face bolt stickers. I think we're just going to go with the non uh, the tattooed face bolt. I think it'll look a lot cooler. So one thing to take away from right now is this feels like a plastic wheel, you guys. It doesn't feel like it's it doesn't feel like it's metal. It feels like it's plastic. So definitely an interesting take because I can feel right now. Yeah, even it feels like it's plastic. This doesn't feel metal. So we got the Pegasus Black, which is pretty cool. I like it. Pegasus Black with the heat um, wheel. It's just a shame it's not metal. It's plastic. That's weird. All right. Let's get some stickers on real quick. Okay, we got the sticker sheet, we got this, which we'll keep this in the box. I plan on keeping the box because this is just so cool. Just the fact that I was able to pick this up for super cheap. I know a lot of you guys are probably cringing right now. The fact that I'm even unboxing this and fully and putting the stickers on, but it's part of the collection, you guys. Why buy it if I'm not going to use it, right? Okay. And then we uh, do the other side of the energy layer. Okay, there we go. Now we just got to do the eyes for the Pegasus. I like the fact that it's pink. Very interesting, pink and black. Okay, here's the first eye for the Pegasus. It's almost like a dark Pegasus. Kind of cool, like evil Pegasus. Evil Pegasi. Because you know we have more than one peg I have one more than one Pegasus at this point. <clears throat> Whoo, that sticker just about came off and got lost. All right, there we go. The energy layer is done, seven minutes in. Sorry guys, this is, I'm taking my time with this one. Like I said, this is a super rare bay and I just, I wanna give it the credit that it's due. Just the fact that it's in such pristine condition and yeah, I mean, it just looks gorgeous. And then we put the uh, dark blue pink face bolt on just to kind of wrap things up. And we got our our black tool to use with it. All right, and yeah, let's go ahead and do a test pin. Technically the pink tool we were supposed to use, but I just figured the black tool would be pretty cool. All right, our first test pin. Three, two, one. All right, very cool. Very cool indeed. We're gonna move these out of the way real quick. And then we'll see how well it does with moving the stadium. There we go. All right, better be for you guys. Let's go ahead and do it at an angle. Three, two, one. I think the only downside is that it's a plastic wheel and not painted. At least I'm pretty sure that that's plastic. It doesn't look, feel like it's metal. Three, two, one. All right, so let's do our first battle. I'm not gonna launch them super hard just because this being metal, this being plastic. Three, two, one. Yeah, you can tell it's plastic. Just look at how it's just bouncing around. That's sad. 
All right, uh, do a damage report here. Very nice, so it takes a little bit of a beating. All right, next up we'll do Storm Pegasus. Three, two, one. I wouldn't be lying if I said I was afraid of that first hit. Dang, I'm surprised. This mat this match has gone on pretty long. All right. Just kind of how I thought it was actually going to happen. Sorry, I'm just putting the rest of the parts away in this little baggie here. All right. Storm Pegasus takes a victory. Yeah, that's really disappointing that this was actually plastic. I was expecting it to be metal. All right. Three, two, one. And I think this is Cosmic Pegasus takes a victory. <laughs> this isn't even fair. Big Bang Pegasus. Three, two, one. I'm just letting Big Bang Pegasus spin for a little bit. I had to fix my launcher, you guys. All right, let's redo that because uh, Big Bang Pegasus just immediately flung it out of the stadium. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh man, it's getting tossed around. Look at that. Hey, it landed back in the stadium, though. That's Big Bang Pegasus. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, so that was like some anime stuff right there. All right, we're going the blue variant. Let it rip. This one should be less aggressive. And we're not going to do any mode changes. All right. Now we are going the gold variant. Let it rip. Well, it's not going to matter too much. About to hit that first contact. Let's see what happens. And just gets thrown. Just so sad, you guys. All right. I feel like this might have been more of a collector's random booster than an actual, like, random booster. Just due to the fact that this is a plastic wheel. All right. We are going to the WBBA Tournament Wing Pegasus. Three, two, one. And immediately knocked out. All right, next up is our boy Samurai Pegasus. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, let's try that again real quick. 
Three, two, one. This is entertaining though, definitely entertaining. And Samurai Pegasus with a win. Next up, we're gonna do Omega Dragonis. Throw some different Beyblades in there. Three, two, one. Ooh, very nasty. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. Oh, that was sad. An immediate ring out by Omega Dragonis. We're going the purple unicorno. Three, two, one. Let's try that again. All right. Three, two, one. Maybe it might stand a chance against Unicorno. Hang in there, Pegasus. Hang in there. Oh, man. It's wavering already. All right. So, you guys, we're going to do one thing real quick. We're gonna give Pegasus a upgrade. So give me just one second. We have a metal ball. We have a metal downforce and a metal Pegasus face bolt. So what we're gonna go ahead and do Is we're gonna see if giving Pegasus this huge upgrade will actually benefit. Because right now it's doing a little some it's it's kind of sad. It's getting beat up pretty good. It's definitely in some need of help. Okay, and put the metal ball on there. All right, and let's go ahead and lock that into place. Okay, metal ball, metal downforce, and metal face bolt. Pegasus has been upgraded. Let's see if there's a difference. Three, two, one. Well, doesn't want to come off the launcher. Hmm. Sorry, I gotta. I gotta think how I'm gonna launch this because it does not want to. With the metal face bolts, you guys, they don't really. So for the 3D printed ones, they don't really come off the. <laughs> they don't really come off that easily. Let me grab a regular launcher real quick. We're gonna do a regular launcher, see if this actually helps. All right, three, two, one. Okay, so the regular launcher will work, but let's remove this from the sniper grip. I just wanna see if we can get some decent battles with doing the metal upgrades. Three, two, one. Okay, so it definitely moves a little bit, definitely is heavier. Three, two, one. And let's try this in real quick. And we'll put this one in. So we'll do, we'll go through a few of them. Three, two, one, let it rip. Ooh. 
we had a break on the 3D metal part. Okay, so definitely does not work as well as intended. But that's fine. Um, yeah, I think my thoughts are, I think it's a cool idea. It would have been great if the part would have actually been metal. The wheel would have been metal rather than some plastic. <clears throat> do I think... Do I think it's still a cool looking bait? I really do. Especially for it being a rare one at this point. I really dig the fact that it's awesome. It doesn't perform as great, but it just... It is what it is at the end of the day. It's one more for the collection and one more down. So with that being said, this will end this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. And I do thank you guys for who have been doing so. The channel is building and we are building really fast. A lot faster than I expected. So thank you again. And as always, three, two, one, let it rip. Have a great night.